Thanks to a soggy summer, safety advice for would-be mushroom hunters. The mushrooms have been grown like crazy this summer. Little ones, big ones, but common sense. Be careful, as NBC 10's Demi Topa Adelaide tells us. When it comes to mushroom hunting, Ryan and Emily Bouchard are experts, seeking and studying hundreds of different species. Ryan and I formed the Mushroom Hunting Foundation about 10 years ago to teach people in America how to safely enjoy this hobby. And when it comes to finding fungi in Rhode Island forests, what could have been a disappointing year turned around fast. Well, this year, the spring was very dry. I, I don't know if it was technically uh, drought conditions or what, but uh, it was extremely dry, and that means very few mushrooms. Uh, there were some, of course, but they were more difficult to find. But in July, that changed. Once the summer rains hit, the mushrooms began to mushroom. Storm Team 10 says this July was the second wettest on record for Rhode Island, with more than eight inches of rain recorded at TF Green Airport in Warwick. Typically in July, we see closer to three inches of rain. It's a lot of mushrooms lately because almost a direct result of the rain, the extra rain we've been having. It's pretty great. That's why I like to say, when it rains, it spores. They showed me a variety of different mushrooms they found in Lincoln in the span of 10 minutes. Spores that come from the gills on this one are going to be uh, pink when they actually appear. They encourage people to reach out to them and do their research before hunting, because some mushrooms are dangerous to eat. One thing to remember about this summer is that we're very lucky and it's very special. We haven't had this much rain in a very long time. We may not see such an abundant mushroom season for a while. So get out there now, hit the trail while you can find wild mushrooms, and consult us, the Mushroom Hunting Foundation, to learn how. In Lincoln, Tim's up at Alea, NBC 10 News. That is so true. I have well, seen so good. many mushrooms in my yeah. woods, especially in the woods. And I think, Anthony, that all those mushroom growers and hunters are going to love the forecast. What do you got for them and the rest of the farmers, Anthony? Now, still some more rain is in the forecast. Good. Now, not as much as we had seen in July. They were talking about how wet July had been with over eight inches of rainfall. Usually, July is the driest month of the year. So, yes.